another mistake that I see is people setting the bar on their neck instead of their trap because the bar should be just against your traps, not your neck. No. Hi guys, so I'm gonna show you what different bar placements are. And for the purpose of this video series, we can do a high bar. So it's gonna be a little bit higher, not all the way up, but right in that mid range. So I'll show you the, the three different bar positions. Starting with high bar. So for the purpose of this video guys, I want you to be in that mid that mid range. So I'll show you that one more time. If you put it on your neck, that's when you start calling for the sponge or the caution, you wrap it on the bar and then you do what? You squat with zero pain. But you can handle that if you do what? You now place it on your trap instead of your neck. Because if you put it on your neck, you, you feel pain because of the protrusion of your cervical bones. You understand? So don't do that. Instead, place the bar on your trap. We have two types of bar placement. We have low bar and high bar. If you're a newbie, I believe you'll go for the high bar. If you're a pro, you can start playing around eight of the two placements but now i'm talking about the ordinary high bar so what you need to do is you if you don't want to use the caution try to find a perfect spot that is on your trap not on your neck and if you can't handle that maybe you're a newbie and you haven't developed <laughs> some traps as a caution just then go for the sponge but if i were you i'll just get used to this spot like the placement of the bar slowly by slowly you'll get used to it and then you'll just rock and roll smoothly